The fight with cancer was definitely the hardest fight of my life. You just get thrown into this process of like having to put poison in your body and having a bone drilled out of your back. And I was literally almost dead. Like my hair was gone, my nails were falling out. Like you just wanna give up. But then there's this whole spirit around you that wants to fight for life. It's an amazing day. Uh, lots of my friends are gathering for an epic party. You deal with it, you know, like for the people around you as well. They pull you through it. Like they are the, the daily motivation to just keep going. I battled it for six months and got declared cancer free on March 16th. And getting declared free is Incredible. So we just got the results in from the doctor and ah! <laughs> Yeah, the fucking cancer has disappeared guys. I'm so fucking stoked. I was so happy. So happy to get a second chance at life and and just paint on a blank canvas, literally. Like, this is your life, do what you want to do with it, you know, create the life you want. Yeah, I also travel with Nikki quite a bit just to keep the fun in there and uh, work on my tent, which I still don't have. <laughs> Super chill massage. The man with the hammer. I went home and started training again. You can see in the mirror, like, Look at it, like I still gain my muscles, my skin repaired, my nails came back, my hair got back. Like I'm, I'm here, you know? Then just getting in your wetsuit again and getting in the water here in South Africa just felt amazing. I look like a cook out there, but I had so much fun just like splashing around and just being there with everyone. Like, that really got the vibe back for me, you know, and made me push it even harder. Like, I started having fun at everything, you know. Being this happy guy that I am, I want to be. Yeah, I love sticking uh, my finger in the dike. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Wow! Uh, this, this looks fucking epic. Let's check out the other spot. So we're just checking uh, which angle the wind is blowing and if it's strong enough. And uh, then we go, have some fun. After getting back to hanging on a kite in South Africa and getting the hang of it again, my body was ready for some more. <laughs> I'm always looking to do crazy fun stuff to make the feeling of flying feel even more epic. So there was always this road gap in the north of Holland that we used to drive past. And I was like, ah, there's water on both sides. We should jump it. In my head, I picture with a mega loop, but uh, in the end, I just made it. that strong, but I was stoked to, uh, to land something new and, and just have some fun with it. So sitting at home, we, uh, we called up the boys, Lasse and Gijs, to go on a little adventure with me. We uh, were up for a sunrise shoot in the south of Holland, but unfortunately after like five minutes, <laughs> we got stopped by the cops. Road trip. 